Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great day. Well, as you can see, we have another unbagging. So that means we have another review. So let's see who this is from. Hang in there. Make sure to get it all out of there. All right, as you can see, it's fairly good size. This is from a different company that I have never done a review for. So they contacted me and wanted me to review their products. So I said yes. This is from ACL, which is Art, Create, Love, and they only do paint by number. I said, sure, I will give this a shot and see what you got going. So, we got a few things here. There's a little sticky there. So, the first thing I got was a set of paint brushes. And I used, when I painted, you know, for myself, I used to um, just get my brushes from Walmart or the dollar store or wherever because you know me I'm not about spending billions of dollars to do some kind of a craft project so yeah so this little set of paint brushes was two dollars and eighty two cents I used to pay oh I think it was five dollars at Walmart back Oh, God, it's been 10 years, at least. But, yeah, and they're they're fine. They're acrylic brushes. They look like they're just as decently made as Walmart. After a while, you know, when you use them, this all gets wet, and I'd have to crimp down the edges, but there was nothing wrong with the bristles, so they were pretty well made that way. I've never had bristles totally fall out. So, yeah. But I just needed a, a set of paint brushes if I'm going to do this, just in case anything comes up. So, yeah, for $3, I think that's a pretty good set. And on the back, it shows you what each kind that they have, but this is not necessarily in this set. So, and it tells you what they are and everything. But this doesn't match this set. So you'd have to pick out your long square one and, you know, look at the tag and, and see what it was. So I thought, what the heck, right? You, you just never know. Get down. Please. Please. Hang on. Oh, my goodness. Every time. That was sticky. It's kind of sticky on the outside. It's like the glue missed the edge of the thing. So this is a little thing, and I've never seen where you could do this. And so it was new to me. What do we got here? Oh, this looks like the big pattern. Oh, boy. Yeah. So it comes with two brushes. Very teeny, tiny, tiny. And has a little slip on it. To keep it all where it needs to be okay what am I doing wrong so let's open it up and it is a fan that you paint by number I wondered how this was going to come this looks like a royal pain to paint because how do you keep it flat so that you know it doesn't do anything very nicely made and this is all made out of wood this fan was 579 and it's just kind of a heavy paper so we'll have to see no wonder they gave you itty bitty tiny brushes and they also gave you a tassel to put on there there's a little jump ring right whoops my bad a jump ring there to attach this on so cool but I, I'm not caring much for this little picture here okay yeah you can't see nothing but it 
I will put a picture here. Right. Let's take a look at what the paint section looks like. I'm trying to figure out how to open the darn thing. Nope, it goes to this. No. Well, hello. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I just had to get it. It was so flush with everything, couldn't even tell. So, it comes with probably 12 colors here. And they're all wound. Okay. And, of course, you can put them in order. But it just kind of sits in there. Well, that's bizarre. How do you tell six from nine? Hmm. Don't know. There's ten. Five. Six. Seven. Okay. Four goes up here. And yeah, I'm not. So I guess this goes here because it matches the pinks. Do you know what I mean? It gradiates down and then down to darker. So yeah. The paintbrushes look nice. They have, uh, on these fine tips, they always put up a, a little cone. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Over them. And that way they won't get mushed in shipping. I can't even get it out of the bag. But yeah, it just, and then when you're done with it, just put it there and set your paintbrush down. But really nicely made quality paintbrushes, so yeah. Hmm. Odd. I don't know. I I have never ordered paint by number from any company ever. Of course, you know you had the paint by number back in the day, so there you are. And there's the colors that are going to be in it. Try to do it without knocking everybody out. And I believe they're acrylic colors. So that's better than oil. Back in the day, we had oil and it took forever for, you had to leave it laying out and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to put that big, big picture there. Put that in there and that in there. So yeah, for $5 and something, I'm just still confused at how you lay that down to paint that. Of course, it's going to dry pretty much immediately. Now, I don't know if you paint the background or not. One would be white, so maybe you do. I'm just not real sure. It, it'll be an interesting project. It is showing one here. Very teeny tiny, itty bitty. I can barely read those numbers. Yeah, they should have sent a bigger schematic. That's my only argument with this. So... We'll see. Okay, now for the big one. Of course, you know I had to get a big one. I mean, please. Does Laura ever buy things that are small? No. Oh, crap. Sometimes those come right off. Others, not so much. Now, this one was $15.91. So we'll see what it looks like. I've still got black diamonds all over my my uh, desk here, so you have to bear with me. Let's lay that up there. Oh, it's oh cool. All right, so this I'm gonna put a picture here. Is a three-part picture. So. You know how diamond paintings all come in one thing? Well, this didn't. There is a bigger picture here. I don't know if you can even tell. So, just look at the other one.
but it, as you can see it's in sections so not real sure this is kind of a plasticky canvas comes with six paint brushes and the hardware to hang it with different comes with an instruction sheet just says it gives you the hardware but it doesn't give you the frame itself so we'll see Yeah, I don't know. I was looking to see if it said anything. Please smooth the canvas before painting or iron on it with the ironing machine machine before painting. Acrylic paint is easy to dry, so it is so if it is not needed please close the lid to avoid the stuff drying up if acrylic paint is dry you can add like a one or two drops of light agent whatever a light agent is maybe that's a blending medium or water into the pigment stir well and then use it without adding more water as for like Okay, well, it doesn't say that it is or it isn't, but I'm assuming that this is acrylic. So, like I said, I've never ordered. Got one by accident a hundred years ago, but I never painted it. It was my beautiful scenery park. Yeah, they sent it to me in paint by number. Oh, I was pissed. Yeah, at that time, I think I wanted it either in cross stitch or diamond painting now these are all hooked together which makes it better and they have all the extras together so that's nice uh, and then they just flip up I'm not going to flip anything open because yeah I'm not prepared for all this but very nice colors I'm gonna flip them all upside down so you can see the actual colors because I'm seeing you can't really tell what the colors are but yeah so let's take a look at the canvas. I'm just going to pick them all up. Then you just cut them apart as you use them. And they do have excess because this is so big. I don't know. I think it was probably about 1970 something the last time I did a paint by number. And like I said, it was oil paint. Let's just set that up there take a look at the canvas this one's a lot easier to read than that fan although I really wanted to do that fan so I would just yeah it's gonna have to be ironed out and I would do that with a light heat as not to get rid of all this but I would start at the bottom I mean excuse me hello point to the top and as I start from the bottom Start from the top and work your way down so you don't get your hands into what you've already painted. But I think these would be okay to paint. I, I don't know. I would do, you know, like iron one section and leave it out, you know, and work on it. But it's got a nice canvas on the back. But that's all the instructions that comes with that. There's no other instruction but this one, you know, side. It says the oil painting will have a better effect. But it, I don't know, it's talking about acrylic, so. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know how this is all going to work. Just going to lay it up there, out of my way. But, I mean, it's pretty easy to read and see what you're doing. But, I don't know. We might give it a shot. I have no idea. My idea is that painting on 
canvas needs to be painted when it's in stretcher bars. You know what I mean? Because when you go, let's say you painted it like this, and then you stretch it, you know, when you're done, it's going to crack the acrylic paint. I don't know. I might be wrong. And it seems like the canvas is prepped with like a gesso or some kind of a medium there. So you're not painting directly on this. If you are, then it's very porous and it'll just suck up the paint. So this has some kind of a top coat, if you will. I don't not Or base coat. It has like a base to it. So I, I don't know. Bizarre. Then you got the great big one. So, I don't know. I'd really have to clean off my desk. So, yeah. I, I thought it was something new. And they're a new company. So, wanted to try them out. All they do have is paint by number. They have Right now, they're having a special. Buy four, get one free. They do have free shipping on orders over $50. And they have tools, crafts, and pictures you know, that you can, oh goodness gracious, uh, like paint a painting, like that one is, it's a painting, it's not in the craft section, the fans, they also have little wooden things, so they have paint by number for all ages, so I don't know if everything they have is acrylic, or part of it is oil painting, I have no idea, I didn't look at that, they do have a nice tool section. They have stretcher bars, easels, brushes, palettes, and they also have stencils if, you know, you have kids that like to do, use stencils or if you want to use the stencils, that's perfectly fine. So do check them out. I will have all this information about buy one, get one free and all the links to everything that I got below. And, oh, I forgot to tell you, they do do custom. They have custom from a 30 by 40 up to a 50 by 70 so might be something you want to check out thank you acl for sending me these beautiful products whether i use them or not i'm not sure i don't know it'll be a leap of faith what can i say thank you for joining me today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.